Number 45. Solve the equation 3k squared minus 12k plus 2 equals 0. Well, we can identify the coefficient of k squared and say a is 3. The coefficient of k is minus 12, so b is minus 12. And then c is going to be 2. All right, now we're going to need our quadratic equation. Negative b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a. All right. Uh, b is negative 12, so I'm going to have the opposite of b. That's the opposite of negative 12. Negative 12 also goes here because this is b. Okay. This is a right here, 4a. a is 3, so I can put a 3 in right here and down here too. This is also a. Let me put a 3 in here and here and finish off with my c value. My value for c is 2. So here's my quadratic equation. Let's write it up at the top of the page here. Now what's the opposite of negative 12? Plus 12, right? That, and I have 12 times 12, negative 12 times 12 is 144. Okay, so this is 144. And 4 times 3 is 12, times 2 is 24. And then 2 times 3 is 6. Let's go through that again. I went through that real fast. Let's just look at the values slowly here. This is the opposite of a negative 12 is a plus 12. All right? Now we have negative 12 times negative 12 is 144. It's plus 144. We have 4 times 3 is 12. 12 times 2 is 24, and it's a minus. And we have 2 times 3 is 6. All right? Now 144 minus 24 is 120. All right? And 120 is uh, 4 times 30, isn't it? 4 times 30 is 120, and I say 4 because I know what the square root of 4 is, you see. So it's 12 plus or minus, this is going to be a 2, okay, square root of 30 over 6. I can split this into two fractions here. I can put the 12 over the 6, and I can put this right term over here over the 6. I can reduce the 12 over 6 down. 6 goes into 12 how many times? 2 times plus or minus. The 2 6 is the same thing as 1 3rd. You can divide this by 2 and this by 2. You're going to get a 1 times the square root of 30 is a square root of 30. And 2 goes into 6 3 times. We cancel the 2 and 6. We get a 1 3rd. 1 3rd. All right? That's solving it for K.